your majesties welcome back to the channel thank you so much for always returning thank you so much for your show of love thank you so much for all that you do for this community to keep growing hope you're well in all your ways and you're loving yourself and others like always thank you so much for always returning thank you so much for watching our videos to the end thank you for giving our videos thumbs up thank you for watching our ads it's important <laughs> thank you for sharing our videos thank you for the support the moral support for everything that you do thank you to all our anonymous support supporters thank you to our channel members thank you to all of you your majesties your majesty thank you you know <laughs> i i'm beginning to laugh because it's it's funny you know what when i keep saying that africa said please don't love us and <laughs> and the west say please africa we have to love you i wasn't expecting that citizens of this country should still or would still be in Niger. and they were asked to leave they gave 48 hours and and friends and Macron came out, I was like, the Niger government cannot, the, the military uh, leaders cannot ask their ambassadors to leave. <laughs> okay. You see the audacity of these people. Like, the way they love themselves I, is something else. The way they see themselves is something else. The way they place, the level they place themselves it's something else, your majesties. The owner of the country say your people should leave. And you are where you are saying they, they will not leave. Hi. <laughs> Let's listen to this clip. The second one was so funny. And I bet you're going to laugh, your majesties. A deadline set by the coup government for the French ambassador to leave the country has now expired. That's as a massive rally took place in the capital, Niamey, where top military officials addressed the nation. On behalf of the head of state, General Chiani, we are here to address you and say that you must remain mobilized. The battle has only just begun. Victory belongs to the people, and it's the Nigerians who will decide this country's future. Well, you may be able to spot there protesting locals waving the flags of Niger, Burkina Faso and even North Korea while condemning the former colonial power France and the whole Paris held sway over their country. Meanwhile, local media reports claim the coup governments cut power and water to the French embassy and say if the diplomats still refuse to leave, they'll be evicted by force. The people are the sole masters of their destiny. We are going to cut off the water and electricity to the French embassy. Nobody is going to supply them with anything. Nobody is going to sell them anything. If it's a war posture they want, then we are going to go to war. Today it is with dismay that we see the French embassy refuses to fulfill a notification from a sovereign country. We are simply dismayed. In my humble opinion, I do not think that force can have its interests here. Those people entrenched in their positions through all the devious plots they are making left and right are against Niger and its people. First of all, French citizens are not Nigerians. A Nigerian cannot call himself French. I don't see the point for the French ambassador or for France to insist on staying in our country. We understand that France survival is at stake, but since we don't want them, they have to leave. We can't impose ourselves onto their country, so they won't be able to do so either. The days of slavery are over. The French government maintains that Niger does not have the right to expel their ambassador. What a silly thing to say. <laughs> this is that, you know what that is, Sarah? That is the arrogance of the French yes. coming through. That's their colonial mentality. They still yeah. think that they own those Africans. They still think it's 1920 and they're still pushing around the, the Africans, forcing them to mine gold and diamonds to be shipped well, back to I France. Mean, they've never made it a secret. I mean, a, a French diplomat tweeted at one point to the Nigerians, stop drinking the water that's meant for French people. They don't hide it. So I'm not shocked that, that they refuse to leave. We talk about Black Lives Matter and there was millions and millions of people behind that standing on their knees. Well, what about when the African states are actually rising up when the real BLM is happening? All of the uh, BLM protesters have all gone silent and they're missing in action.
French President Emmanuel Macron insists that his country is not Niamey's enemy, but that Paris's envoy will not be heeding an order to leave given by coup leaders in Niger. The deadline has been and gone, but the French ambassador in Niger is staying put, President Emmanuel Macron has said. This after on Friday, the junta gave diplomat Sylvain Ité 48 hours to leave the country. I think that our policy is correct. It's based on the courage of President Bazoum, on the commitment of our diplomats and our ambassador, who will stay despite pressure and despite illegal claims of authority, as well as on the efforts of our internal security forces and our army. The European Union has also expressed its full support for Ité. The ambassador has not met Niger's new self-appointed government, in line with France's refusal to recognize the legitimacy of the unelected coup leaders. Macron warned that Niger's political crisis would have dire consequences for both the fight against terror in the region and the economy, cut off from international support in the wake of the power grab. We must not give in to the narrative used by the coup leaders that consists of saying France has become the enemy. The problem of Nigerians today is the coup leaders. They put them in danger because they're abandoning the fight against terrorism and good economic policy as they're losing the international funding that was helping them develop. That is the reality. And if we don't come out and say it, who will? Anyway, Your Majesties, I hope you saw those videos. The second one was so hilarious. Like... It's just so true that they wouldn't hear. They wouldn't hear. And it, it, I, I, sometimes I ask myself, what, what is this? What is it? France, what is it? Why must you tie yourself to a place and you, you feel you cannot leave? And this is what is taking me back to the words of um, um, Julius Malema. I remember him. <laughs> he said, there is no France without Africa. And it's a truth. It's a truth. There is no France without Africa. With all what is happening right now, with this whole goal, we are not going. Leave, we are not leaving. Don't love, we must love. This whole thing, it just shows that these people, I, I don't know where to place them. You know, the respect is not even there anymore. There are things, there are things you don't force. No, you, you, like I keep saying, you are the one helping the, the, the Nigerians. And they say, leave. Please take yourself out and leave them to be. What is so hard, Your Majesty? What is so hard? It was funny. It's funny, but it's not. This is to tell us how these people have viewed the African continent. You know, when they shared the continent amongst themselves. And a, a French feels so entitled to the path where they have. All of them, they feel so entitled to their path that they can do anything to keep them. But come to think of it, you've been stealing from someone for, for, for all these years. And you haven't saved enough to be independent. But well, why? You have been stealing from the African continent all these years. And you haven't planned enough. You, 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 you never planned for this day, for rainy days. You never planned, okay, what if these people wake? You know, they never knew. They never have it in mind. You see, the, the programming was so perfect to them that they never, they never expected that what is happening right now in the continent should happen. They programmed us and back it up with religion. They back it up with religion. If we want to turn here, they will use religion to tie our legs back so we can't say anything. And it's, it's just so unfortunate for them that even the religion they are tying us with, the chains of religion they tie us with is even breaking off because we are becoming freer. We are beginning to discover the creator for who he is and knows that it is the manipulation of the West that is turning us to where we are. No, because of what the creator wanted. What the creator wanted from us is so simple. But the devil manipulated these things and tied us down and subjected us to be slaves forever. But our creator have come up and said, no, my children have suffered enough. It is time to wipe their tears. 
it is time to unlock the senses that you closed and locked with those chains and padlocks. And we are seeing, we are understanding beyond, and they are scared. They never knew, they never expected. And so they are shaking to their foundations. When the Lord is on your side, who can be against you? Right now, the Lord is on the side of the Alkebolans, the children after his heart, the ones he loved so dearly. What do you think, Your Majesties? Leave your comment also there in the section, and I'll see you in my next one. Until then, love yourself, love others. Stay safe, Your Majesties. Stay positive. Bye for now.